Hello, I have another makeup look for you. This time, Selena Gomez. What do you mean this time? This is literally, I lost count of how many Selena Gomez looks I've done, but Hung Van Gogh blessed our feed one more time with this gorgeous look on Selena. And a lot of you guys wanted to see this and I totally understand why I even screenshot it before anybody sent it to me. So here we are doing a get the look, Selena Gomez, beautiful cat eye on Jimmy Fallon. Let's get into it. So we're gonna jump right into primer. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath. So we have a nice smooth canvas. Just hydrating. Fill in my, my brows really quickly. I'm gonna take the Naked Cherry palette and just kind of prep the lid with some shadow. I'm going to use Caution, which is this really pretty bone neutral lighter shade of like vanilla. Just put that all over the lid. Even up into the brow bone a little bit just to kind of clean up. Have some like strangler hairs right there. Stragglers, not stranglers. And then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and use Juicy. It looks like Selena's blush and eyeshadow kind of match a little bit. I'm just gonna take this coral shade because it did have like a really soft corally pink vibe to the eye. Okay, so now we can jump into eyeliner. I do not have a gel pot liner, but I feel like maybe he used that because it looks really strong, like it looks very sharp but still very smudgy. So what I'm gonna do is just first use a liquid eyeliner because I don't have any gel pots. Mine have dried out because I don't really use them. Just kind of like look straight at the mirror and then <sighs> take a breath. <laughs> Have something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we are gonna smoke that out. Oh, my vision is so blurry. Not totally even. I'm not Hung Van Gogh, but we we're just gonna move on to kind of just smudging out with a black shadow. So I'm gonna use the Ola Chola palette by ColourPop and Becky G. I'm so sorry, I think this is sold out. I actually did a makeup tutorial with it. They look kind of cute, very 90s. Let me know if you want to see that. I just feel bad because like the whole collection, I thought it just sold out and I thought it was gonna come back. So I do have that on the pipe, in the pipeline. So let me know if you want to see that. So I am gonna take Little Smokey. It's a just a normal black shadow. And I'm gonna start just going right on top. And then you kind of get that elongated eye, but then from the side you still get a little flick. We're just going to press into the bottom lash line as well. So we have some connection there and also some definition. I'm gonna move on before I stress myself out. I feel like I need a massage after this. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm just gonna use this guy by Clinique. Gonna add a tiny bit all over the face and then just buff that out with a brush. And then I'm gonna use these new concealers that just got sent to me by Jouer. I haven't really tried much from Jouer, but these ones look like really amazing concealers because they have like vitamin E and meadow foam oil, which is stuff that I really like in my skincare. It's very nourishing, so I feel like they're gonna be very creamy. I'm just gonna apply, this one is Biscotti. And I'm just gonna put that right under the eye. Sharpen up 
this line a little bit. And with this brush, I'm just gonna blend it out. Very creamy, I was right. Yeah, it's very, very creamy. I feel like it blends out beautifully. And I'm actually gonna use a another concealer, but one that is darker so that I can use it as contour. I'm gonna take cappuccino. I like these little, I really like the way that they are shaped. I'm just gonna contour a little bit. Do my nose. And with the sponge, I'm gonna do the contour on the outside. I'm like so upset with these eyes, to be honest. If you guys try it and you guys figure out a better way. I swear, if you have those pots, you'll be able to do it a lot better. Just keep bringing them up and up and up, and I don't think it's that. I keep going like this, because of her photo, okay? And then with these guys, I'm just gonna use the same brush. And then with the biscotti, I'm just gonna go down the center and use the sponge. Blend everything out. I'm also gonna just dip that into the Pat McGrath. And then I'm gonna use Coconut Beach bronzer. So for blush, I'm actually gonna blend two. These blushes were my favorite of 2019 and I still really love them, obviously. So I'm gonna use the Buxom Wonderlust blushes. This one is Dolly and then this one is Say Chels. I'm gonna start with Dolly first because then I can just always calm it down with the more nudey Say Chels. I'm actually gonna grab Say Chels on like a fluffier one just to kind of like help blend and it looks a little bit more airbrushed in my eyes. And then I'm gonna use this new Buxom mascara. It is called Extrovert Mascara in Extra Black. This is new to me, so it's gonna be my first time using it. Oh, this hair of mine. Just gonna grab a little bit of the Dolly blush and apply it to my eyes. I feel like mascara always kind of helps to clean up the eye a bit and just the concealer. So I'm going to use some highlighter now. This is just the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. Can't do anything with these dandelions. For lips, this guy is called Baby Lips by Laura Mercier. Forgot to put some blue brow on actually just to groom up the brows a little bit. This is in the shade brown. I'm gonna try this guy. This is called Magic Hour by M Cosmetics. I feel like we can mix in a little bit of this Honest. Not my best, not my best. Okay, I'm gonna change, do the hair. This is the look. So that was a lot of back and forwards from Q-tips to swipes and uh, like I'm kind of feeling a little stressed right now. It's not my favorite to be honest, but you guys let me know your feedback. I always love to hear from you. What do you guys think? Did I nail it? Um, would you try it? If you have any suggestions for any future Get the Looks, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I love talking with you guys, so I will meet you down there, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, and also this chaqueta. Yeah, I still have my phone. Just I'm like going back and forth from Selena to me like, does it look the same? But this jacket is from Revolve, so it's so cute. I love it. And it has a little matching pants that you guys check it out. I'll have it linked in the in the description box. Yes, in the description box below. I'll see you next time. Mwah.